Hi, hello, wanna come and welcome back to yet another interesting episode on Little Slaw YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to see how to integrate JMeter with Grafana and InfluxDB for real time monitoring. So the first thing is we are going to see about the JMeter. So we all know about JMeter. JMeter is a performance testing or performance engineering tool which has a lot of reasons for it to be integrated with JMeter, uh, sorry, the Grafana and the InfluxDB. So the first reason is the real-time insights. The JMeter generates performance metrics during test execution and by integrating with InfluxDB and Grafana, we can allow it to visualize these metrics in real time providing immediate insights into our application's performance rather than waiting for the test to get complete and the second part is the hysterical analysis so by storing the jmeter metrics in influx db will enable historical analysis and grafana's capabilities allows us to create dashboards that display performance trends over time which aids in identifying patterns and potential issues and for any proactive issue identification so by combining jmeter influx db and grafana we can facilitate proactive issue identification through real-time alerts and visualizations which helps teams to address performance bottlenecks promptly and comprehensive monitoring that's the main part which is by integrating all these tools the jmeter the grafana and the influx db we can create a comprehensive monitoring solution that covers both the real-time and the historical performance data, which offers a holistic view of our application's health and performance. So next, we will see about InfluxDB. So what is InfluxDB and what are the key features of In InfluxDB? So by seeing that, we can understand how well this integration will help So now we are going to integrate the JMeter with InfluxDB. So what is InfluxDB? So InfluxDB is a high performance, open source, distributed and scalable time series database which is designed to handle massive amounts of timestamped data. And it is particularly well suited for storing and retrieving metrics events and any other time sensitive data so in the context of performance monitoring influx db acts as the data store for metrics collected during various activities which provides a reliable and efficient storage solution so what are the key features why should we use influx db rather than other databases so the key features of influx db is time series data handling InfluxDB excels in efficiently handling time series data, which makes it ideal for storing metrics and performance related information that evolves over time. And next, when it comes to the scalability, it is designed to scale horizontally, which allows it to handle growing data volumes and ensure performance remains optimal. And when it comes to query language, InfluxDB uses its own query language, InfluxQL, Influx query language, which is tailored for querying time series data, and this makes it easy to retrieve and analyze relevant performance metrics. And when it comes to retention policies, Influx DB allows the definition of retention policies, which specifies how long data should be stored, and this is useful for managing disk space and ensuring us to retain relevant historical data. In fact, we will see we will have a separate video session on the different queries and to discuss about how this retention policies work and how to even in fact create queries and also we will see the various other queries which are related to influx db so now we will move on to the next part which is the most important part which is the grafana and now the next part as i have told you which is the most critical part which is the grafana and in fact this Grafana is an open source analytics and monitoring platform that integrates with various data sources and not only InfluxDB it has option to integrate with many other data sources to visualize and analyze data in real time. It supports a wide range of data sources including databases, cloud services and time series databases like InfluxDB.
So Grafana is known for its flexibility and powerful visualization capabilities. So what are the key features? Why should we use Grafana for this part? So the first part is the data visualization. So Grafana provides a variety of visualization options, including charts, we can see colorful graphs, we can see multiple dashboards, and it allows the users to create visually appealing representations of their data. The second part is the alerting. So we can add alerts. So Grafana includes alerting features, which enables users to set up notifications based on predefined conditions. So this is crucial for proactive issue identification and resolution. And the next part is the dashboard templating. So Grafana supports dashboard templating, which makes it easy to create dynamic dashboards that can adapt to changing metrics and data, data sources. In fact, even in this video, we're going to see that we're going to import a dashboard and we will show you the various metrics that we can see through the InfluxDB and the JMeter. And the last part is the user-friendly interface. So Grafana's user-friendly interface simplifies the process of creating and customizing the dashboards, which makes this makes it accessible to both technical and non-technical users. So on summary, the integration of JMeter with Influx DB and Grafana is a powerful combination that provides a robust solution for real-time performance metrics for historical analysis and proactive issue resolution. So this empowers the team to optimize application performance and enhance user experience by leveraging comprehensive data insights. So now we will move on to how to practically approach this part. So how are we going to integrate the JMeter? How are we going to integrate it with the InfluxDB and Grafana? So in this video, we will see how to install set up InfluxDB. So we have already set up JMeter in our missions. So I have not included the setup of JMeter in this video. And in fact, if you want, I can share you one of my old videos on how to install the JMeter. And we will see how to set up the Grafana and how to, in fact, integrate InfluxDB with Grafana. That's the next part. And then we will run a test and we will import a dashboard and we can see the real-time metrics of how we are going to monitor the data or monitoring the monitor the metrics the real-time metrics through grafana which we are running it through the jmeter so we are going to see everything in all in this video so we're going to integrate everything in this video and we'll see how does it work so welcome to the second part of this video now